welcome back to another vlog. It is bright and early on a Monday morning and I'm up, I'm ready. We are getting ready to take Atticus to nursery and then this morning me and my mum are going to pop over to Primark because like I said in yesterday's vlog, I really wanted to go and get like a new coat or something. I don't want it to be too expensive, I just want like a long line, not like a blazer but like a waterfall jacket. So that's what we're going to go do this morning and then I think mum's going to go food shopping. I'm hoping that I won't have to go with her because I need to come back and I need to film a video that's going to take me a while to film and then I need to go into town to get some stuff and then I need to edit so basically I've got a long day and I've got a lot to do so I'm going to take you guys with me fingers crossed we're going to get everything done I also need to pack my case because tomorrow I'm going on a shoot and then I'm going straight down to SAFs after the shoot so I need to be very very organised that's the plan I'm feeling great though because we're up we're ready and it's not even quarter past eight yet so like air high five but other than that, I hope you guys enjoy and let's get on with the day. We have now arrived at Roston Lakes and I am going to go into Primark. Mum wants to go to Tiger because she wants to look at their Easter decorations and then I need to go to Primark because I need to get a coat. And me and Mum were just saying because we were just looking at all the different like food places down there and stuff. I don't know if I'm pronouncing this right, but Patisserie Valerie. Do you reckon that's how you say it? Patisserie Valerie. Do you know what I don't? Yeah, Patisserie, you've got that Patisserie right, the and then something. Valerie or that looks really nice. Valerie. Oh, I don't know. something and then they're also getting a five guys down here somebody tweeted me the other day and they were like Anna your favorite burger place is coming so I am so excited because we love five guys but the nearest one to us is Milton Keynes I'm just trying on the jacket and I'm just saying mum's trying on the jacket she's definitely not I'm trying them on I really like this one but mum's saying she doesn't like the color on me so I'm going to show you guys the other one I think we're going to go with the other one I mean it's not exactly like the warmest of things I just want to have something to like chuck over what I'm already wearing definitely yeah yeah, that's lovely. Yeah, that's really nice actually. Yeah, we'll go with that one. So I wear a lot of grey and black clothes. So yeah. That will look quite nice with them. I've managed to find two kind of overthrow things that I'll both show you when I get home. You've seen one, but I haven't showed you the back one yet. And mum has picked up this really pretty pink circle spring bag because she sees all of her Instagram mums wear it that she follows. Mum has just come out of Tesco and I asked her to pick up some Krispy Kreme donut. So me and her have got a Nutella one. Then what did you say Atticus's one was? Chocolate dream cake. Oh, chocolate dream cake. He will love that. So I've got these and I'm, I really want to eat it now, but I'm going to save it until after I film my video later because I know that I want it more then than I do now. So I just got home to some really exciting parcels. So the first one I got was from Lottie London and they have sent me if i can get it undone they've sent me their brand new eyeliner which is like a stamp eyeliner so if you want to see me do a first impressions with this then let me know and then there's some cute little stickers in the box with it the packaging for this is so cute like that's right up my street and then collection have sent me their brand new glam crystals which is liquid eyeshadow and these look absolutely incredible i really want to do a tutorial with these so again if you want to see me do a tutorial with them please let me know because i honestly think these look insane me and my mum were just looking at them downstairs like look at that I then received a parcel from Juicy Couture, which I literally cannot believe because I love Juicy Couture. I've always wanted to try their perfume and they've actually sent me the biggest one. This is the Viva La Juicy Juicy Couture perfume and it's the 100ml bottle and I literally cannot believe this. I'm going to open it in a second and I'll show you, but how insane look how amazing this perfume bottle is like oh my gosh and i'm so excited to smell this it looks incredible it's got like a bow on it and then it's got like a mask on it and wow i just cannot get over this thank you so much to the team at juicy couture for sending this out to me i had no idea it just turned up at my door so thank you so much and the final package that I got today is from YSL Beauty and I've never received something off of YSL before so this is pretty crazy. So they sent me quite a few bits which I'm going to show you. So first of all they sent me their Touche Clat foundation and they've sent me two different shades and I'm so excited to try this out. I've got shade 30 and shade 20 so I'm going to try shade 20 out first and then if that's too light then I'll try shade 30 and if not I'll give it to my mum but how insane do these look then they've also sent me their three new color correcting blur primers and i've got the blue one the pink one and the orange one like i'm so excited to try these look at the packaging of that 
Like, that's absolutely insane. Thank you so much, YSL, for sending these out to me as well. This is the first time YSL have ever sent me things, and I'm literally in shock, so thank you so much. I also just received a lovely letter from a girl called Emily, and she has sent me some photos that she wants me to sign of her, then send back. So I'm going to sit and do this right now. So thank you so much, Emily, for your letter. It was such a beautiful thing to read, and I am going to sign these, and then I'm going to take them to Postbox in a minute. I'm just in the middle of filming, and mum come upstairs and said that I've got another parcel, and it is from the body shop. So let me just turn it over here. And Oh my god, I love it when my setup falls down. That's so sick. Here is the box. I just had to rip off all of the string that was around it because there's so much. And I've just realised that there is actually some sellotape on it, which I'm also going to have to pull off. Although I might have managed to have just done it in one. I have. So, let's open the box. Oh, this is so cute. Oh my gosh, so it's all of the Mother's Day stuff. And they've sent me some little paper flowers. And it says my name on the tag. And then it says, celebrating strong women. We love that you are always so considerate of everybody around you oh my gosh that is the cutest thing ever it says you're totally awesome anastasia and my own body cream and then there's a little gift set here oh my gosh the body shop thank you so so much i'm gonna open this gift set up in literally two seconds but it looks so amazing inside this box is the body shop's british rose collection and it's so beautiful so we've got the shower gel the body cream the face mask and the hand cream so thank you so much the body shop for this beautiful beautiful gift you've made me smile so much like more than you could ever imagine and i'm so so thankful for it i have finally finished filming maybe this dress is a little bit of a hint of what i filmed but i'm not going to tell you guys anything it will be out on sunday right now i've got my Krispy cream donut which i'm so excited to eat i've wanted this the whole day and i've been saving it for this moment so i'm very very excited to eat it for the rest of the day i am just going to tidy my room and then i'm going to organize and declutter my makeup because there's so much makeup that i have that i just can't use and i just don't use it it's just like i can't use it it's just that like like, I just have too much to use it and it's so unfair that it's just sitting there so I'm gonna go through it declutter everything and then give some away to my friends and family and then whoever doesn't want it then it will go to a charity shop and then I'm gonna help mum film a video because she said that she wants to attempt it it might never make it to YouTube but my mum just wants to film a shopping haul so I'm gonna help her film that in a little while that's pretty much it so when I've got something else interesting to show you I will but other than that I'm just gonna sit and enjoy my my donut no word of a lie, I literally just devoured that donut. Now I'm in my pyjamas that Saf bought me and I am just about to sit and edit yesterday's vlog. Then I always get asked questions about like how I edit my videos, how I do stuff like that. So if one day you do want me to show in a vlog how I actually edit my videos, then I 100% will because obviously I edit them on my laptop now. I used to edit them on my iPad, but like everybody wants to know how I do the animations and stuff. If you do want to see it, comment down below and I will show you guys. That is my vlog edited today. We're just getting so much done. I literally am living for this. Some days I just have so much more productive days than others. Like I wish all my days were as productive as today. Up and out early, filming, editing, getting stuff done. Honestly, like it may look like I have productive days sometimes, but some days you just want to sit there and you just stare at the walls. Does anybody else relate to that? Like literally I will just stare and I'm like, okay, I have stuff I need to do but I don't want to do it yet and then I somehow find a way of procrastinating and then I come up with the excuse of oh I'm going to watch Netflix then I'll go on Netflix and I'll be like I've watched everything there's nothing to watch even though I haven't watched everything it's just so weird all the excuses that we come up to but in a minute I'm going to show you the jackets that I got from Primark because they're so nice they were like one of them was 13 and one of them was 20 but I really really like them and obviously because it's coming into spring I just wanted more of like a overthrow than an actual big coat because all my coats are very big please ignore the fact that i have a slightly blue tongue i was just sitting and having my brain liquor and then i realized that my tongue was like bright blue so i just went and brushed my teeth and it came off my teeth but it hasn't come off my tongue so let's just try and ignore that i don't know how long it's going to be on for but i've just remembered that it's monday and on a monday i normally go and watch my friends play football so i am going to do that tonight even though i have so much to do i know i'm going to go and do it anyway and i won't probably get to bed until one but i've got to get on at the nine o'clock clock train tomorrow morning because i want to shoot from half past 10 no i want to shoot from 11 until 4 and it's all around london so 
I am going to be knackered and then obviously I'm travelling back down to SAS tomorrow so tonight I need to edit, I need to pack, I've got so much to do but it's very important that I go out and socialise so that's what I'm going to do but I was basically eating this, I love brain knickers, they're like one of my favourite sweets but I rarely rarely have them and I don't think I'm going to be getting the blue one anytime soon I've just come downstairs and I've got my dinner, we have got shepherd's pie, broccoli or broccoli whoever you like to say it and mashed potato, I'm so excited for this because I honestly haven't had shepherd's pie in the longest time welcome to packing with anna i like to procrastinate a lot so i'm currently just choosing my outfit for the shoot tomorrow as i am allowed to pick my wardrobe and then that is pretty much it i'm just basically packing all the stuff that i'm taking to saf's although i feel like i'm majorly over packing as i'm only going until friday and i'm going from tuesday and i already would have been dressed so realistically i need like two outfits but i always take like four just in case we have spontaneous plans so that's what i'm doing right now we were going to go to the football but it's raining so sadly we're going to give that one a miss tonight but now I need to sort this pile of stuff out an hour later and I'm somewhat organised I have now packed half of my case and I've got my outfit ready for tomorrow just here so basically in Primark I bought the pink one that I showed you earlier and then I bought this grey like overthrow cardigan thing it was £13 and I got it in a bigger size so it would be really baggy on me but I'm going to wait until tomorrow's vlog to show you it because it's part of my outfit for the shoot so that is pretty much it i'm now just running a bath so i'm all like fresh and stuff for tomorrow and i now just need to pack my makeup I was planning on decluttering my makeup collection today but i tell you what that just did not happen sometimes plans just kind of go a bit mm, and i say i'm going to do things and then it never happened because something else comes up and this was apparently taking me longer to pack my case so i will do that when i'm home but like i said i'm going to get in the bath now although well i need to pack my makeup i need to pack my hair stuff i need to pack jewelry but then i need to use my makeup in the morning anyway so it just seems a bit pointless to pack it now when i'm going to be packing it in the morning one thing that i always do forget to take though is jewelry so i'm going to take like the necklaces off now that i know i'm going to be wearing so i know that i actually take them so i'm going to take like the three main ones that i have and then i think i'm going to take this little b ring i would take this but i don't really have any outfits that this is going to go with unless i wear it tomorrow so now i just need to find somewhere to pop these i am going to end this part of the vlog here today is going to be a two-day vlog as honestly i am so tired i need to get up so early so i'm just gonna make this a two-day vlog but i love you all so much and let's get on to tomorrow hey everyone welcome to day two of this vlog i have just finished getting ready for my shoot so i've curled all my hair i've gone for quite natural kind of my normal makeup look today i didn't feel like doing anything too extravagant plus it is super super early it's still pretty much dark outside so i have just kind of gone for the basic look today i'm gonna go show you my outfit now but it is not even eight o'clock i think it's like half past seven and i am about to leave to get the train to london and then i've got to go to waterloo and then i'm on the shoot for nearly i think it's like four or five hours so i'm so excited it's gonna be so so good let me show my outfit so i've got on my like flowy ribbed trousers which are from misguided then i've just got a plain black top on and then i've got this really long flowy cardigan on and then i'm gonna pop on some necklaces and i'm gonna wear my feeler train Trainers. the only really annoying thing when you want to go shopping in london is when you have a case with you because it limits the shops you can go into and it's so annoying to carry around we are trying to find shoot location one i don't even know if i can tell you guys what we're doing but we're currently finding finding a good place to shoot in front of the london eye and that's all i'm gonna say We are now outside Westminster Abbey and fun fact, I've never actually been this close to it but here it is and we are just getting ready. This is the crew that I'm filming with and we are just getting ready to film a shot in front of it. at Buckingham Palace this is our well fourth kind of shoot area basically I don't know if I can tell you what I've been shooting all day but it's really exciting I can't wait for you to see it but we just did our final little shot thing here and it basically gone to all the different London landmarks which I've never actually been up this close to Buckingham Palace before I've been like down there but never up this close so this has been a really good day for me and now me and Rebecca well when we're finished because we think we'll have to get one more shot when we're finished we are going to go 
go and we're gonna get some food because I haven't eaten all day. So then we're gonna go to Cafe Nero and then I can kind of like park up, edit my vlog and then just chill for a bit. But this is Buckingham Palace. It looks so cool. These gates were just open. Oh, this is open because a car just come out and we were like, oh, somebody must, important must have been in that. But it looks so cool. Welcome aboard the Gatwick Express service oh. to Brighton. Bit of a change of scenery since I last vlogged, but um, I'm now sitting in the cinema with my miniature tank of ice bath. <laughs> Look at my whip. I'm reunited with her. We'll uh, catch you up properly when we're home. As you can now see, I am actually in South's bathroom because I have come down to the and I'm staying with Saf for the next few days until Friday. So I'm just gonna go and have a bath and then I'm gonna go back to the hotel Thank you.